Welcome back, War Gamers, to another King Bonsai hobby vlog. So, this hobby vlog, I am painting up Biffer. I've now assembled him and green stuffed him so that he has all his pop boy green stuffed and cleaned up. So, yeah, I think he's very well detailed, it must be said. As with all the champions of Erebor, they're just amazing models. So, yeah, I will be painting him up. I will be using an airbrush to prime and base coat him, so I may do it in a bit different of uh, steps as opposed to my usual uh, prime and base coat. It will probably be a base and things I can do with an airbrush then with a brush and I'll probably separate those sections out. So we'll see how that works and I'll come back when that is done. See you then. Right, we're gamers. So it's actually been a really long time since I last recorded. Because, as I said, I was going to airbrush, but I kept not being able to get the right fittings between my compressor. I eventually solved the uh, the compressor problem. So I have only recently uh, been able to uh, spray prime him with lead belcher. And just now I've uh, done the rest of the base coating. So I was using the Chronicles book, the, the Hobbit, the Battle Five Armies, Chronicles, The Art of War. Uh, what a workshop book for inspiration and what I saw is that he seemed to have a very much like a deep tarnished copper color on his armor on top of steel as well as some very dark red leather so that's essentially what I've gone for it's the similar idea of the corn red on the leather and uh, which is why I used on there the corn red for that and eventually when it's been uh, uh, washed in noon oil, it gets very dark and looks very good. It's what I use with my Iron Hills for all their leather bits. So, yeah. For the uh, gold or bronzing parts, I use Balthasar Gold to get that copper look. The face, and yeah, I did already start to wash the face. So the face I did with Bestigore Flesh, and then I just put a wash on of Reikland Flesh Shade. And yeah, there, there was also some brown, which I did in Rhinox side. And yeah, they was, were sprayed in Lord Belcher, and I also had to do a little bit of cleaning up with it. But yeah, so, Belcher. And yeah, I always do the hair after the washes. But yeah, so I really like the uh, Biffer Champion of Airborne model. And I'm definitely looking forward to uh, washing and then highlighting him. So yeah, I will come back once he has been washed. See so you welcome then. back. I actually, uh, I washed him, but I started uh, base coating his hair. So I did that in just about in black. But for the washes, I did the face. It'll focus in Reikland Flush Shade. Then I washed the whole model all over except for the face with new oil and the hair areas because that'd be pointless at that point. And then afterward, I washed the uh, bronze armor, or copper armor, not sure which, but uh, with new oil and warp stone glow. And to kind of get this green effect that it's not weathering, it's tarnishing, I think. Yeah, tarnishing. So yeah, which I really like because I was reading the Chronicles book, the Hobbit uh, movie Chronicles books, and they uh, they have a uh, tarnished metal, so it's, it really helps your painting if you read those books, if you're painting up all Hobbit models, because it's really helpful. So, because it tells you what to do. It's really helpful. So yeah, so I will now come back once he has been highlighted. See you then. I'm back. I've now finished Biffer, Champion of Erebor. And I must say, I am really liking this model. Like, when at first I, um, I got him, I was not overly certain how it'd be. But when I start looking at, particularly when I start looking at the, uh, the Chronicles book I keep mentioning, um, I realized that he had a really cool armor scheme, and this was an absolute joy to paint. I've enjoyed painting most of my Champions of Erebor that I've gotten so far. Like, 
I know I really enjoyed do Gloin and Dwallin. And now this guy was just absolutely amazing to paint, and I love how he came out. So how I actually did it was for the metal, I highlighted in Ironbreaker. And the red was still uh, just extra highlight, highlight of corn red if I needed to highlight it at all, which was really just on the cloth down here. The other bits I kept uh, just washed, as well as with the bronze slash copper bits I just washed. I didn't highlight it all because I wanted that more tarnished look that was in the Weta Workshop book and therefore like in the movie. So his face I used Bestigore Flesh, then a mix of Bestigore Flesh and Ungore Flesh. The hair was a bad and black, then dry brushed and scaven white dinge, and then for the beard, the whiter areas, there was some Dawn, uh, not some from far, there was some Dawnstone, some Dawnstone Cremate White Mix, and then some Cremate White. And yeah, the axe was same metal. The eyes, I actually was able to try and paint the eye colors of Biffer. It, you probably can't see it because his eyes are dark brown. But I did use Gorthor Brown, or Rhinox Hide, I'm sorry, to paint his uh, his retinas. His pupils are a bad and black. And the whites of the eye are is cremate white. So yeah, the boots were highlighted in Rhinox Hide dry brush and then a dry brush of Gorthor Brown. I find that uh, leather brown parts work really well when dry brush to get worn, a worn look. And yeah, so I had highlighted the edges of the armor with the metal, and I am just really, really happy with how he came out. The edge of the axe blade, and just, yeah, I'm quite impressed by this model, and I am very happy with how he came out. So. I will come back once his base is completed. See you then. Welcome back. I have now completed my Biffer model. I tried to do a little weathering on the boots for mud of my usual Reichland Flesh Shade and Rhinoxide mix. I don't think because the boots were brown it actually really did anything, but figured I'd note that. But yeah, pretty much I did the base the same way I do every other base. And the... Maddock, it was just lead belcher washed with noon oil and a bad and black for the um, shaft. And yeah, so here's the noon oil. The snow was just the citadel snow mixed about equal parts water, snow, and glue. And yeah, so I am actually really pleased with how this guy came out, and I am really looking forward to being able to play with him. So yeah, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, support your Hobbit hobby, and Akman Rookie us too. Thank you.